Okay, so this is a review of The Goose Girl by Shannon Hale, and it's kind of a retelling of a Grimm's Tale by the same name. I've never read that Grimm's Tale. I've read a lot of Grimm's stories, but never that one, so I don't really know how it compares, but uh, you can find it on her website, I guess. Um, so there's no summary in here, but I'll basically tell you what happens. Um, so there's this girl, and her name is, I am going to butcher it, is Crown Princess Anadori Kaladra Taliana Azili. And she's the Crown Princess of Kildenry? Kildenry? And everyone calls her Annie. Um, and then later in the story they call her Izzy. So it's basically about this girl and she's forced into an arranged marriage with the prince of another um, of another country, Bayern. This is also the first book in a series of four books. It's Anna Burnings, the next one, and then River Secrets, and then Forest Born is the fourth one. And this is the only one I've read, but I'm going to read the other ones. And so she's engaged to the prince of Bayern. So she goes on a journey there, and something happens, and she ends up having to go into hiding, and um, that's how she becomes the Goose Girl. And she also has this gift, her mother has the gift of people speak, where she can like basically persuade people to believe what she has to say. And she's the queen, so it's very useful for her. And then Annie slash Izzy has the gift of animal speak, which her mother is actually horrified by. Where she can speak with animals, like she has a horse, um, whose name is Falada. And a horse, like a horse, the minute they're born, they have their name on their lips. And if you hear their name, then you can communicate with them forever. Uh, and she like mostly talks to uh, birds. And it's really interesting. And it's it's an emotional story because Annie's story is so heart wrenching and really like so many horrible things happen to her. I was like crying, and I don't usually cry during books. And there is a romance, but it's. I think I've read too many romance novels, so it was kind of like a, a real nice romance. It was really sweet, and it was based on friendship, and I loved it. I think um, this could be really presumptuous of me, but Shannon Hale, um, she lives in Salt Lake City, and so and I know she's a religious woman, so I'm assuming she's Mormon, and um, so I think that's definitely why her story was that way. But I liked it that way. I thought it was really sweet. It was really cute. It's a book that, like, I would give, um, like, a 10 or 12 year old girl. Like, you would totally give it to them, and it would be a completely clean story. It's a great story. It's entertaining. It's fun. Um, I give it four out of five stars. I just, I don't know what I want it to be to get a fifth one, but I don't know. It wasn't there. So, but definitely a great book. Definitely a fourth book. I definitely recommend it. And I'd never heard of it before. I heard it from somebody here um, on YouTube. Her name is Kate. Kate's Book Club. And so her, I'll put her thing in the sidebar. I think it's this way. Um, so I definitely recommend it. And I'll do reviews of the other three books once I read those. So.